Okay, this is my CNC cut plywood downwind foil board, and I'm about to put the deck on, so I thought I'd make a little video. Um, the hull is three millimeter poplar. Um, all of the solid wood is polonia, and on the inside, the inner and outer chines are filleted and taped with a four ounce glass about a one and a half inch wide strip of four, four ounce and then I've got a little uh, all the filler is microspheres I've got a little microsphere blob in the bow there and all the bulkheads are filleted uh, but not glassed to the hull and it's hard to see what's going on here but I have the pictures but basically there are five um, 12 millimeter by 50 millimeter polonia deck stringers and then these these ones here are actually longitudinal bulkheads that are full height so they go from the deck there's a there's just a 12 by 12 millimeter cleat on the top of that uh, to have a gluing surface and then those go down to the bottom and they're filleted on one side you can see there and I kind of chickened out. I wasn't going to have those, but I added them last minute. The foil track boxes are glued in with the, with the board flat on a table. And then uh, I came up with a way to reinforce them, which is like a, a little plywood teepee on top of the tracks. And then I also added an additional web that sits on top of that and comes up to the deck. So... There's basic, there's essentially there's full bottom to deck longitudinal bulkheads through to this level here. And um, I didn't want to build another one in case it broke, so I decided to add those, added a little bit of weight. I'm at about 12 pounds with the deck, which is here. It's got glass on it just from where the joints are, which is about from here to there there's glass under the deck panel and then for my leash i've got a piece of six millimeter dyneema with a stopper knot and a fender washer and then i've drilled a hole through the stringer there and i've epoxied that in i'm also going to put a little uh, gusset on either side just to thicken this stringer back up right where that hole is uh, but I think that'll be good. And then for my vent, the vent, I've pocketed out a piece of the deck stringer there, um, which uh, is pretty well forward of where I'm going to ever stand. And I'm just going to take the threaded part of the plug and uh, thread it into the, the deck plywood. Um, and it'll be, uh, it'll have a nice smooth surface for that O-ring to sit on. Hopefully that will be okay. I was also going to add a quarter 20 drain screw as a drain plug, but I'm going to add that later. And I can also just use the vent to drain the board if I needed to drain it. Hopefully I won't have to drain it, uh, because that would mean that it took on water. So... Um, that's pretty much it. I've already stood on it uh, without the deck on, and that was fine. Um, you can see the CNC cut finger joints here. So the outside will get sanded, rounded th round this over, and then I'll tape the chines. But I don't think I'm going to glass the whole bottom, but I might. I haven't decided yet. And then probably gonna glass the standing part of the deck panel and then of course it'll get a deck pad so just wanted to make this video before I closed it up hopefully we'll stay under 13 pounds that's kind of my goal but we'll see uh, and the board is a hundred liters a little over a hundred liters uh, 19 and a half by eight foot